fucking back, man. Sorry. I get excited sometimes. I have Taco Bell coffee. And I think it's stronger than regular coffee. Predestination review. Someone mentioned this to me. Thank you for doing that. I got to see it. Ethan Hawke and another movie by the directors of Daybreakers. This movie is just a... Sometimes I hate mind travel mo mind travel. Sometimes I hate time travel movies because I'm like, it's just confusing for the sake of being fucking confusing. Are you here? Are you there? Well, this movie is a time travel movie. And it's about this organization that Ethan Hawke's a part of. I'm a temporal agent. We prevent crime before it takes place. What is it? It's a time machine. Don't ever exceed the jump limit. It can be problematic. They prevent disasters from happening before they happen using time travel. The movie starts that Ethan Hawke is his barkeep. He's working as the barkeep, and you know that he's part of this, this time travel thing. But in this moment, he's working behind the bar. It just seems like a cool guy. Like Ethan Hawke does. Someone said on one of those celebrity meme tweets, someone was like, Ethan Hawke looks like just a normal looking or slightly below average looking dude that just walked onto a set in Hollywood and everybody was like, ah, just let him stay. And it's true. I don't mean that in a bad way, but he just seems like a cool dude. I always root for this guy. I know where I come from, but where do all you zombies come from? Somebody walks in the bar and he gets really interested in their story and then they tell their whole life story and it's a crazy fucking life story. It's basically a bet. He's like, well, I, I bet if you tell me something I haven't heard before, I'll give you a free bottle of, of whiskey. So they're like, okay, I'll tell you a fucking story, asshole. It, it's a crazy one. This person walks you through their entire life. And it's interesting. A bunch of crazy shit happens to them. And then it all leads up to where we are now in the present. Things get unraveled. Things get unveiled. And this whole crazy storyline just unfolds. And it's going to blow your mind. And it's going to be one of those movies you're going to sit and think about afterwards. That's all I'll say. I don't want to give away any spoilers. But it's a movie that's leading up to... Yeah. Yeah. First off, I did get bored a couple times. Listening to this person's story as they go through, there's a couple times I'm like... Because you're kept in the dark about so much stuff in the movie, so it gets a little hard to hold on to what's going on. You're like, okay, but what's happening? There's some really fucked up and interesting ideas that happen along the way in this movie. They don't save the whole thing for the end. But there's a couple things you're like, oh shit, I did not see that coming. That changes things. You've changed things. So Sarah Snook, the girl, the one who walks into the bar, is so good in this movie. She goes through so many transformations as this movie goes along. She really carries every the weight of every emotional change that her character makes in this movie. And it goes through a lot. A lot of shit happens to her, okay? And you really don't know his motives or anyone's motives in the movie. I never guess what happens in movies before it happens. I actually guessed in this movie. And that's not to say anything. I just had this weird revelation and I turned into Russell Crowe in a beautiful mind and like numbers were flying everywhere. <laughs> I actually figured out the movie before they showed us the ending, before they told us what happened. Uh, so I was really, really proud of myself. But that's not to say that you will. It, it will surprise most people. I just got lucky this one in a thousand times. Like, seriously, I, I couldn't figure out the end of Beethoven on any other day. So Sun shines on a dog's ass every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? It's a dark, dreary movie. It's not really fun to watch, but they've got some really cool sci-fi ideas in it, so that keeps it entertaining. And then the ending is just the, the, the end of the movie, the last act of the movie is really fun and entertaining, so you'll like that a lot. So hang on for it. Definitely check out Predestination. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Definitely check it out. You're going to like it a whole lot. It reminds me a lot of the jacket in some weird way. Comment below, guys, what is your favorite just movie ending in, that, that just like blew your mind and had you sitting on the couch staring at the, at the TV like an idiot. Comment below, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. We watched a movie.